fatal night, a fiery mass dropped from the sky onto Earth, causing the mountain of Samar to erupt and burn everything around it, leaving nothing but a wasteland. Within the bowels of the mountain, a new and monstrous life was formed. From that day on, the people of Samar, in order to survive, were forced to offer their children as a sacrifice to the hungry mountain of death. People can no longer endure the endless human sacrifice you impose on them. You know that I am your most faithful subject, and that before you I served your late father with the same devotion. Listen to the desperate cries of the mothers of Samar, the screams of the innocent victims. Queen Samara, you cannot, you must not allow this wanton slaughter. You are old, Claudius, old enough to remember what happened during my father's reign long before I was born. I remember. The fate that overtook those who dared to rebel is even worse than the destiny we face. But this has changed. Changed? Yes. There exists a man, one who's so marvelous, whose courage and whose strength have allowed him to overcome any danger that threatens. And do you think you'll be able to conquer those who reign on the mountain of death? Yes. If he were to lead us, your people would succeed in annihilating... Silent, you old fool. You'll only destroy yourselves. And me too. Samara, my queen, I beseech you. You know it's the only hope we have, so don't take it away. I command you to stop. Send for this man. He lives in Charon. Send for him before it's too late. Your people are tired. You dare to make threats. Get out or for you it'll be too late. lied to you. The man from Sharon is about to arrive. They must be meeting secretly. What's his name? Hercules. <laughs>
Lise. from the trap you set for him. Alive? But how can he avoid death at the hands of my best soldiers? You underestimated that man. Remember, as long as he stays alive, he remains a threat to that destiny written on the stars. We will not be able to leave the mountain and dominate the world, and you will not become the most powerful woman on Earth. I promise you he will die. As soon as possible, Samara. Before the next full moon, you must deliver the Princess Billis to the sacrificed in order that our Queen Selena may return to life. I will obey you, as always. I can't help you anymore. I can only remain visible briefly, and my time is up. Now you will be alone. Be careful, and remember Billis. 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 When are we going to be able to meet openly in front of everyone? I'm going to speak to your sister. No, don't go. Well, why are you so frightened? After your own, my family is the most noble in Sama. I've tried many times to speak to her of my future and of our love, but I've always found Samara strangely hostile. Your sister brings only sadness to everyone. That's not fair to her. Face the facts. The people are suffering. They want to free themselves from fear. They want to destroy the monsters of the mountain, and now they might be able to do it. No. We could wipe them out, but the queen is still opposed to it. To fight against the mysterious power of the monsters. No one has ever dared to do that. I'm frightened, Derek. Don't worry. I don't intend to lose you. I love you, and I intend to marry you as soon as possible. I'll speak to Samara. And this time, she'll hear me out to the end. I swear it. And if she doesn't give her consent? Oh, Derek. Never mind. We'll find her. Are you hurt, Julie? Yes. Who are you? What do you want? I'm to lead you to the man who sent for you. All right, up with you. As a boy, you weren't very convincing. I'm Agar, daughter of Claudius. What made your father send a girl to meet me, and a child at that? I've no brothers, and my father trusts only me. What difference does it make? For the cause of liberty and justice, I'm ready to do anything. Even to fight? That, too, if it's necessary. Let's go. I'll take you into Samara by a route that only I know. you leaving the city at daybreak, Agar. I'm greatly honored that my queen should take the trouble to watch over me. If I do so, it's for your own good, my dear. The moon's almost full. And you are young. So young. You should be more prudent.
Hercules, she's gone. You can come out now. Let me thank you, Hercules, for answering my prayer. It was my father's friendship for you that brought me here. Did anyone see you? Neither in the city nor the kingdom. But a few leagues from Samar, I was ambushed by a band of ruffians. They must have mistaken me for a rich merchant with sacks of gold. I changed their minds for them. Bandits. That's strange. All the roads that lead to Samar are always carefully guarded. Did you get a chance to see who their leader was? Yes. He had a thick black beard, and there was a long, ugly scar running down his cheek. Ah, Aftari. Well, who is he? One of Mogol's soldiers, and the right arm of the queen. The queen? But is she against you? Yes. I'm afraid so. When her father, the late king, was dying, the last thing he said to me was, watch over Samara, guide her, counsel her. At the time, I thought my task would be an easy one. However, only arrogance and limitless pride animate that woman. Together with unrestrained ambition, I try to induce her to rebel against the fate that for years has hung over us. Every third new moon, our youth is decimated by a sacrifice that's barbaric and inhuman. The next sacrifice takes place tomorrow. Hercules, that's why I sent for you. You've always been a great fighter in the cause of justice, and you've always been the victor. Will you lead the people of Samar to liberation? That's what I'm here for, Claudius. Thank you. But you won't be alone. You will have every courageous man in the city, beginning with the young Prince Darix, with you, the cousin of the Queen. Your daughter is as courageous as she is beautiful. I would have chosen a more tranquil life for her, without fear. Have no regrets, Father. Think of all the innocent lives we'll save if we win our fight. But in leaving the palace, it wouldn't be wise for you to take the same route by which you entered. I'll show you the way, through the secret tunnel. Follow me. Save Hercules. 
take him to the rendezvous. Father, don't make me leave go. you. Go, go. I order you. myself for 
for it. There was nothing you could do. We were being spied on by Queen Samara. I ran after you to warn you, but we were too late. I only got there in time to hear the last words of my father. He ordered me to lead you to the rendezvous where he'd intended to take you. You must join the others so that they'll know you're still alive and won't abandon us. You know better than that. I could never abandon you, Agar. Thank you, Hercules. On your shoulders rests the future of the people of Samar. I... I have great admiration for you. I will show you a way out of the palace that will lead us into open country beyond the city walls. We must be very careful not to be seen. As soon as night falls, we can come back to the city. his way out of that cave as if it were made of clay. The monster's been killed and the iron bars are torn apart. But there isn't any trace of Hercules. But no one has ever gotten out of these caverns alive. That man is superhuman. With such strength, we'll never overpower him. With cunning, we will. But it's necessary to get him alone, with none of his friends around. What friends? I know who they are. Tomorrow, I'll arrange to send away Prince Derex. Do you have men you can trust to follow orders implicitly? Yes. Fine. They'll accompany you. Where? What does it matter? The essential thing is to keep him from coming back. And as for Hercules, I want him taken alive. He'll pay dearly for all the trouble he's caused me. The Queen wouldn't deny her sister anything. I know. And I'm here to ask her for the greatest favor of my life. Everyone at court knows the only favor that will satisfy the Princess Billis. What is it? I must talk to you, Samara. Get out. I want you to promise that you'll hear me out. Haven't I always done so? Don't you really believe I'm fond of you? Well, don't say that, Samara. Even if we didn't have the same mother, you've always been a perfect sister to me. And I'm grateful. I want it to be perfectly clear that my attitude is dictated solely by my affection for you. Of course. And because of that affection, you could make me the happiest woman in the world. Samara, Prince Darix loves me. And if you'll only give your consent, we'll be married immediately. We love each other. You can't refuse. Of course not. How could I refuse you? In fact, I want you to marry. But not as soon as you would like. Oh, Samara, why are you making us wait? It's been my intention for a long time now to send Prince Darix to the court of Karim to conduct secret negotiations on a matter of the greatest delicacy. But he'll be back soon, and you'll live happily ever after. Oh, thank you. Thank you, dear sister. He'll be leaving the first thing tomorrow morning. Though he'll be away from you, it won't be for very long. Are you satisfied? Oh, I'm so happy. Claudius is dead. Hercules has disappeared. The two of them were the only hope we had. There's nothing left to do. You can talk that way because you don't have children. But if you had a daughter like my child, you'd understand the anguish that a mother feels when the moon is full and you know they're coming to take her away to the sacrifice. I know this fear. My wife is right. We can't bear living this way. Anthias, you're the only one who's been to the top of the mountain of death. Tell them what happened to you there. Speak out. Tell us whether ordinary men can overcome the monsters. I saw the mountain open up miraculously, and I was bathed in a blinding green light. Then huge, deformed, rock-like creatures appeared. And at the same time, I was deafened by a weird sound that seemed to come from the depths of the earth. After that, I don't remember anything. I was so terrified, I was robbed of my senses. I came to after a while, and I found I was alone. Your experience only confirms the fact that it will not be easy for us to win. I think it's useless. Only Hercules can fight the monsters with any chance of surviving. All I can say is this. I'm the cousin of the queen whose attitude seems to indicate she's in love with our enemy. 
I swear to you that I'm not influenced by any personal ambition. The only thing I want is to liberate Sama from the nightmare that's oppressing us. Then my wife and I will go away, asking nothing, expecting nothing. I am alone in the world. My name is Timor, and it's on the list of those who have been selected as victims for the sacrifice. But I prefer to die in combat with the monsters if my death will help to liberate Samar. You're right, Timor. Yes, right. Yes, yes. Quiet. Don't let them hear you. Who is it? It's I, Agar, with a friend. Hercules! Hercules! It's Hercules! We're saved! Welcome, Hercules! I'm glad you're with us safe and sound. Our worries are over. With you leading us, we will win. Let me present Prince Darax, Hercules. Claudius thought very highly of you, Prince. That's right. We'll get along well together. My friends, I know of the tragic destiny that hangs over you. But what would happen if one day the people of Samar were to refuse to send the sacrificial victims to the monsters in the mountain. But no one has ever dared refuse. Yet it's certain that the monsters will come down from their caves in the mountain, bringing with them death and destruction, as they did that night. Now things are different. The people of Samar are finally prepared to fight, to the death. I doubt that. But I promise you, if our faith and resolution is sufficient, Samar will again be free. Another patrol is passing. There have never been so many soldiers in the street. Surely they're looking for you, Hercules. Return to your houses. Alert everyone that they are to be prepared for the attack. Say that Hercules will lead them. And that the cousin of the queen, Prince Darax, is on their side. Get going. Thank you, Hercules. Till we meet again. You stay here with us. No one will think of looking for you in my tavern. to find you here, weeping for the death of your father. And instead of mourning him, you've been wandering around the city. I wanted to bring you words of comfort that might ease the cruel loss you've suffered. You'll have to resign yourself. And I would do so. If it were proved to me that his death was destined, that it expressed the true will of the gods. Instead, my father was brutally assassinated. And I ask you to punish the murderers. I'll investigate. But it's not going to be easy. Your father had no enemies. My father asked only that fortune smile on the people of Samar. His enemies should be sought among those who did not share his ideas and therefore feared him. I don't know to whom you refer. But I can assure you that the iron hand of retribution will strike down the assassins as retribution will always crush those who dare to challenge my will. I never thought the time would come when I would greet you with such joy and in the same breath have to say goodbye. Watch and you'll see that my horse will fly on the wind like Pegasus. Take care of yourself and come back soon. When can I hope to see you again? In a few days. Have you spoken of us to Queen Samara? Yes, when she was giving me the instructions for the mission I'm to carry out for Encorum, she made several references to our marriage plans. It's strange, but the way your sister spoke, it seems she has no objections. And sending me off as her ambassador, with such good faith. Well, now you're the most important relative of the Queen. You're right. It's late and I must go. Goodbye, my love. Promise it's only three days. Not a minute more. At the gallop. Farewell. 
Is it true that Derrick's has been sent away on orders from the Queen? Yes. I might have known she'd do something like that. What are you trying to say? I don't wish to alarm you, Billis. But I think it's necessary you be told. The Queen's aware that Derrick's is taking part in the conspiracy. Oh, but you think he's in danger? Yes, I think he's walking into a trap. Oh, Agar. Don't give up hope, Princess. Come with me. I know a man who's powerful enough to help us both. And I'm sure he won't refuse you. Along that road, they take the victims to the sacrifice. Beyond those woods and the river is the mountain of death. Come on, I want to see it. Hercules! They told me at the tavern you'd be here. The Princess Billis needs your help. At your service. The Queen has sent Derricks away on a mission to Cora. It's only a pretext. She found out that Derricks is one of the conspirators. Timor, get my horse, fast. Derricks is already on the road to Cora. Yes. He left about an hour ago. You had better go back to the palace, Princess. And don't be afraid. Even if it costs me my life, Derek's will be saved. Hercules. I trust you to get them safely back to the city. safely into the city. We're ready to depart, my queen. 
And my sister? Sleeping. Sleeping like a baby after that draft you had prepared for her. The horses are ready. No one will see us. Let us go. Phyllis. Phyllis is in danger. I feel it. Save her. It's a full moon. The night of the sacrifice. The... The queen. The queen. Watch out for her. He's delirious. Leave him to me, Hercules. I know certain herbs that can cure even a wound like this. Get them. Are you absolutely sure that he was attacked on orders from the queen? Yes, I am. They were her soldiers. What is it that's turned her against even her most faithful subjects? And explain why she's so anxious to get me. The queen didn't even know me. She didn't know I was coming here. But still, she tried to have me murdered on the highway. And then she nearly caught me in the trap that cost the life of Claudius. How could she always guess where I'd be? The people say she has powers that are supernatural. She possesses a magic powder which causes any man who takes it to look at her through the eyes of love. They say she's never without it. She carries it in a gold locket around her neck. <laughs> That's useful to know when I eventually come face to face with Queen Samara. It's late. Why hasn't anyone come? The news that Derek's has gone away and that you followed him has certainly robbed our friends of all their courage. We'll have to restore their confidence. But we'll have to wait till daybreak because the city's full of soldiers taking victims for the sacrifice. permit this. You must have faith, Tyrus. The time of our liberation is near. Before long, we'll see that nothing remains of this but the memory of terror. In the name of the Queen, open! The soldiers! Open! 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 Hercules, they're here! You'll be there! Did you hear me? Open up, I said! Hercules, open! 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 My daughter! Oh! 
Hercules. There's no time to be wasted. They'll be returning with reinforcements. We must find a safe place for Derek's. I know a place where he can hide. <laughs> Chains with the other prisoners. Go on ahead. They're on the march? Yes. But don't go now. You can't do anything alone. I beg you, wait for the others. No, that might be too late. What would become of me if anything should happen to you? Don't worry. Nothing will. Identical. That is why I ordered you to bring the Princess Phyllis. Our Queen Selena will awaken from her long sleep and will live again through the blood of Phyllis. No! You're my own sister! You brought me here to kill me! How could you be such a monster? Tell me that it isn't true! 
Tamara, I beg you. Tamara, Tamara, I beseech you. No! Take her. Sacrifice will take place tomorrow night. Behold, when the planet Saturn comes into conjunction with Mars and under the evil influence of Uranus, then will occur unimaginable disasters. The oceans will rise, the mountains crumble, and inexorably our moon will draw near the Earth. Through this cataclysm, only our form of life can survive. After the long night of sleep, we shall become the masters of the earth. But how shall I live then? You will have the reward you have earned, Samara. Your beauty will never fade, and your power will be equal to ours. You will possess all the riches of the world. But remember that there is still one task you must carry out. Kill. Hercules. Have no fear. Hercules is already in my hands. He will die. to revolt. You'll be free. No, Aga. It's not time yet. I have to stay here. Only one person can tell me where Billis is. Samara. She'll have you killed. I beg you. We can't just sit by. We must free you. No, Aga. There's only one way you can help me. And that's by doing nothing. Farewell, Aga. I'll obey you. I love you. hard to find you. Come along. The Queen wants you to be present at a little ceremony. Get moving. Go on.
Conduct him to my quarters. All of you go. A hundred lances pointed at your heart. Just one little gesture from me, and you would have been lying at my feet. A dead man. But I prefer the challenge you offer alive. I know that you are strong enough to crush me. But it's worth the risk. Why, all you'd have to do is reach out a hand. And take me by the throat. And break my neck the way you'd break the stem of a flower. Why don't you do it? You have nothing to fear from me. Now that I've seen you, I can no longer rebel against you. I want to stay with you. It's Hercules who asks this. No slave is as faithful as I would be. friendship. We'll toast our union, the strongest force in the world. You don't know what the future has in store for us, but you'll never be sorry that you've taken your place at my side. My queen! Get out! I'm sorry, Majesty, but it's urgent. Wait outside. rescued by Hercules, who fell upon us and massacred the entire escort. Where's Derek now? I don't know, my queen. I was badly wounded, but I managed to drag myself here. To tell her you failed in your mission? Execute him. No! 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 Derek's free means trouble for us. We must capture him. That's not difficult. All we have to do is follow Agar. You thought you could trick Samara, but I'm too clever. When at last you wake up, you'll be my most faithful slave. against me. You've helped our enemies, and you've fallen in love with Hercules. I ought to punish you with death for this, but too much blood has already been shed. And now that Hercules is in my power, you no longer represent any danger to us. Get out. I banish you from Samar. Leave my kingdom forever.
the stress. No, you mustn't. Your wound hasn't healed, and where would you go? The minute you go outside, they'll capture you. Timor, you've already taken great risks, and I'm very grateful to you. But I cannot wait any longer. Belis has completely disappeared. Hercules is in the dungeons, and there's no news from Agar. Perhaps she's also in the hands of the queen. Soon it will be nightfall, and I must talk to our friends. Ah, see how weak you are. I'll go myself. Just tell me what to say. Timo, it's Agar. Open up. Agar, we thought you were in Yes, prison. but I was sent into exile. We must try to save Hercules. And Billis? She wasn't among the other victims. Where is she? I don't know. Hercules was trying to find her. <laughs> Why did you ask me to do that? Because I wanted to be alone with you. Samara, you told me many marvelous things. You said that at your side, I would become the most powerful man in the world. Yet. You never explained how these things would come to pass. After tonight, you'll know the answer. I don't understand how in the space of a few hours, you can change our destiny. What can happen of such great importance? You must have faith in me. Tonight you'll be at my side and you'll know. You'll be able to see with your own eyes that I've told you the truth. The important thing now is that you tell me you love me. I love you, Samara. And you never loved anyone else as much? No. My love. You know them? Yes. They were the ones who tried to set me against you. And she? Wasn't she your friend? Friend? She's just a girl who took me in, like the others. How can you betray us? I told you that you were completely in my power, didn't I? And I also ordered you to get out of my kingdom. What sentence shall I decree for them? The death penalty. A slow death. Let them die of starvation. Give them plenty of time to regret having taken up arms against you. This isn't you, Hercules. It's not possible. He's right. Take them away and see that the orders are carried out. Listen to me. I understand your doubts because I share them. Did you think I was naturally a warlike spirit? I'm only a tavern keeper, but also I know that this is the moment for us to stand up like men or we'll never know what it is to be free men again. And just what do you expect us to do? They know who we are and soon they'll be coming here to arrest us. Timor has been killed. Derex is in the hands of the queen and we don't even know whether Hercules is alive. Hercules isn't a man to let himself be put out of the way that easily. I agree with Tertius. I have a son. I don't know whether he's dead or alive. But that doesn't change anything. Let me in, I say. Orders are orders. Food. You're not where I'm You are. can let him in, Raynon. An officer of the Royal Guards. Rubio, what are you doing here? I know just what you and your companions are plotting to do, and it would have been very easy for me to have taken you by surprise and had you put to death. Instead, I'm asking you to let me join you. The army is with me. We must fight together against Mogul and the household guard. Are you serious? You who have sworn a military oath? 
No man of honor can be tied by an oath that requires that he cover himself with shame. What's more, my soldiers are men of the people like you. And they also have women and children to defend. Right. He's right. Come on, men, let's storm the palace. Right, I'm with you. Come here, Hercules. Look at that. It's from the moon that my power will come. From the moon? What do you mean? Now that I'm really sure of you at last, I'm able to tell you. For many years, my ancestors were sorcerers to the monsters of the mountain. But I've gone even further. I'm their ally. You? Allied with them? Yes. They are powerful, Hercules. But despite their power, without me, they're helpless. But what help could you give to them? Except to deliver the victims they want. I gave them Billis. You what? At this moment, Billis is in the hands of the stone men. Her sacrifice will revive Selina, their queen. Where is Billis? In the mountain of death. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to find out. What are you saying? You thought you had me under your spell, but your magic filter didn't work on me. I knew what I was doing all the time. And now I must liberate Derek's and Agar. <laughs> are resisting, and Hercules is massacring them. We must escape, then. Go out this way. Hurry. Run and collect the others. Phyllis is a prisoner in the Mountain of Death. And you? Don't worry about me. Go, Derek. Let Take me her with you. Run. Go, I say. Hercules! Yeah. 
is already on the way. Let's go.
Prince? Yes, Prince. I may be needed in some other part of the world. Billis and I hope that Agar can persuade you to stay. Can I persuade Agar to share the risks I will surely encounter? Oh, yes. For the rest of my life. 